But you have to ask yourself those questions without worrying what other people are going to think of you, what other people are going to say of you. Um, Because so many of us make decisions based on how the outside see us. I mean, you know, going back to your very poignant, poignant question, which is like, we all kind of like worry, like, oh, well, I'm a stay-at-home wife and now I'm not a crew in the career. And it's like, oh, well, I'm doing this and now I'm not this. Um, this whole process that I just laid out is exactly how I detach from outside um, expectations, how I detach myself from worrying about how the people are going to feel. And I'm a people pleaser. I, you know, I really want to get the pat on the back from my family. I want them to you know, love me and I want them to be happy. Um, but I can't make decisions about my life because of them. And so doing this process allows me to emotionally detach from that. That's so brave. I mean, I don't know a lot of people that have taken the time to like strip down their beliefs, especially su- like such fundamental ones to first principles and be like, well, why do I think this? Why do I believe this? Why do I feel this? Because so much has been kind of just thrown on us and forced on us and we don't necessarily know why we have this this reality around us. And we just kind of all blindly mm-hmm like agree to this set of rules and then maybe those set of rules aren't right for you and yeah. i mean you won't know unless you you have that bravery and you take that that time to really dig into it and it can be terrifying because mm-hmm. you're like well what if i'm not like everyone else what if the life i want is not like everyone else and then that's even more terrifying but again like if you want to have the life that's going to give you the most fulfillment you need to know why you believe the things that you believe and what's truly important to you so i mean I wish more people did that because there's so many topics right now. Everyone is like so charged all the time online. And it's like, if you don't even know why you think that, <laughs> like you don't even know why you think like maybe I'm a bad person. Like why, like what, you know what I mean? Like why is sex bad? Why is are women supposed to be demure and quiet? Like why is this the only way, right? Like sit with these things that we've been told and then maybe you'll realize you have a new idea and then you wake up mm. and you're happier and better for it. Yeah, and I want people to know like, Everything I just said is coming from the same person that when I was 21 years old and I went on a date with my husband for the first time, so our very first date, there's this like bold, you know, American guy and I'm here just for vacation and we're sitting here and he's so curious. He's a curious man. And so as we're sitting there on the first date, he asks me, he's like, oh, you're Greek Orthodox. I am Greek Orthodox. He goes, oh, why do you believe in God? He was just curious. (laughs) I'm 21 years old. And I sat there gobsmacked because no one had ever asked me that question before. And the only answer I could think of was because my dad told me to. 21. (laughs) So you want to talk about a belief system? It didn't even occur to me to question. I was that person. So I want people to know that everything I just broke down was precisely how I went from being stuck for eight years, living a life for everybody else, serving everyone else's needs, everyone else's happiness, always pushing aside my own unhappiness, thinking that I didn't deserve it or I had no right to speak up and ask for the life that I wanted. And yet, you know, 10 years, 15 years later, I'm here and I can say all these things of how I process my beliefs and how I didn't let that hold me back. So it is possible. It just takes time. It takes giving yourself grace. It takes giving yourself time to self-assess. It takes giving yourself time to question the things that you have in your head. Um, It's not a one and done. It's not like, hey, guys, do this and tomorrow you're going to be amazing. This is like a practice. And so I just think it's worth it enough. I think it's worth it enough. And the life that I want, when you get stuck for eight years, girl, I've just told myself, I made a promise. I'm never going to get there again. And how do I never get that is I have to assess everything, including the way that I think. Right. And then when you strip it down as far as you did in the example you gave in the book, what I loved was you were, you kind of see the realities of everything because I think that's also like a falsity that we see a lot of the times is this narrative that you can have it all. And it's not to say don't go after your dreams because absolutely like take your moonshot, but everything is a trade-off, right? So Mm -hmm. you can, you if you do want to work and you do want a family, there is a trade-off. Like you have, you will need help, right? You will be making sacrifices. You won't make every single game. You're not going to be there every single minute. You're not going to be able to call off with every single cold, right? So there, there is a trade-off. And you were so honest about that, that I was like, wow, this is so refreshing because that's like all I ask for. I don't want one narrative to be like, 
um, you know, that really far one, far one that's like you you shouldn't have children at all because they're not going to give you a purpose or mm-hmm. um, kids are the only thing that matters because when you're left, what's what did you leave behind, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, curate the, the life that you want, um, but be honest about it because there are trade-offs. So you can do both. You can have a career and you can have a family, but this is what it's going to look like. And then you said this bit that was like mourn the life that you have to give up for the life Mm -hmm. that you want to build. And I was like, that is so beautiful because it's owning that decision fully. And then you can step into it without any regret or resentment and just fully own it together by yourself, however you're making it. Um, But it's just like this, again, comes back to brutal honesty, even with yourself. 